Hello everyone for a new video. So I know it's been a while since I live video came out. I pretty much have had internet problems since I think that last video came out. Since the whole, um, what was it, the, whatever the last patch was that got released, the one about the um, quality fixes or performance issues fix, whatever they did. I've had problems since then, so that's why there has been no videos. I didn't even stream since then. We've had the internet go out. I've had to buy a new mo or a new moda or router. I think I had to buy that will be here tomorrow. That hopefully will fix the streaming. But I pretty much had to makeshift our internet to at least get something to work. So that's why I've, between since that uh, performance patch came out, since now I've only pl not played that much. So that's why it has been really screwy lately. We played the Elementos Golem build. I played that for two days, got bored of it, and then jumped to this build. If anyone wants to me talk about the difference between Elementos and Necromancer for Golem, Necromancer Gol uh, carrying Golems, let me know. I played both. I played both of them. Not person my clan played both of them in this league, and it's pretty obvious which one's better. I already know, just from based on what I played and heard. But enough about that. So the build I've been playing lately is the um, this is MBX's uh, Winter Orb Slayer build. It's extreme. And, um, first things first, this build is not uh, budget friendly at all. I've I'm already over 200 exalts in on this build, and I still need another 150 to 200 to finish it. So his um is um. Video, I'll link his video in the description below and the POV for this one also in the description below. Right now I'm sitting on about about close to 3 million damage, give or take. And it still needs like another couple million, uh, over another million still to go. It's just missing a lot of stuff to get there. So go over the gear first. Then we'll do a map showcase and at the end of this video I'll have the Cyrus fight and a Del Boss there too. And Cyrus is not as sloppy. It's just you cannot get hit once by Cyrus. So, um, the weapons, it's pretty much your normal Void Battery, Badger Brotherhood build. It's pretty much um, both the Void Batteries try to get, you want to get 20% uh, increased cast speed for faster cast speed. And both of them you want AoE because you're scaling AoE on this build like crazy to hit that 25 cap. The 25 uh, mark, not cap I mean. Because without the 25, your um, the little bit orb thing, when it shoots everything out, it doesn't give you a big radius to kill everything. So you definitely want it, we're scaling that as fast as possible. So pretty much that's why I increase AOE on both of them. 30% quality is needed. And then pretty much the gems, they're uh, Val Righteous Fire, Phantasmal Frost Shield, and Increased Duration. Uh, Phantasmal Frost Shield is there as a defensive layer. I don't use it because I don't have enough mana to use it, use it at all. I don't have enough intelligence. I'm short it's four, 4 mana. And Val Righteous Fire, with the changes this league, you, it's definitely a lot riskier to use it this league. It's nice when you pop it off because how big it is, but it absolutely destroys your life so fast. So it's extremely dangerous to use it with, especially in ultimatums. If you use this, most likely time you will die. So I rarely use the combo at all. It's just there just in case. Uh, helmet is Blizzard Crown. You do want to get that uh, Windsor Orb plus two stages. They go for roughly, with no influence on them, you can probably get them for, say, between 12 to 15x. And then pretty much you want it because it's more damage pretty much overall. So it's really good. And try to get item level 85 at least so you can get the um, increase. Our nearby enemies have cold res on them. The way I did this helmet is I... Um, you definitely do want just the power charge to start with. And so just get the war, slam a warlord exalt orb on it. And pretty much just however you want to do it. Chaos, regal, all... And, not, and ultimate durations, alchemy ores, whatever you want to do. Just to get the power charge, that would help you a lot. And then in, in the, if you can't more money into it, you can try to um, Maven Orb, a nearby enemy, have 9% cold rest at 12%, and then uh, Waken Orb, both of them together, 
when I did that with mine, I got a really shitty outcome. So my prefix, I got evasion rating and um, maximum energy shield plus four to each. So it sucks. And also got increased evasion rating and stun. So my prefixes are absolute garbage. I'm not gonna lie. And I got pretty much just one open suffix so you can get um, a void element. Since we are going to full 100% um, of elements immune, you need to get, do it on the. Um, it's also have a layer, but the first piece is the helmet. So what I probably in the future, I'm probably gonna try to redo this helmet because the prefix is trash. You need you want to get life on that helmet as like the biggest thing because out that like life will be perfect, and then anything else you can get with it is good enough. Gems, anonymous, cast damage taken, level one. Increased duration again. Uh, yeah, same with. Well, for now, just might as well. But yeah, increased duration. And then anonymous immortal call, uh, level three. Just want to make sure that you know the usual combo. Level thirty-eight or lower. It's level thirty-eight, so that's why you want the one and three anonymous. And a portal gem. I definitely would say since I played this build in the last one, I definitely do like portal gem a lot. It's definitely very fast when you cast it through here. You don't really ever know. It's just being slower than opening this up, clicking here. And it definitely does save overall. I do like the portal scroll a lot. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum, talk about, uh, the, the second weapon, same. Boy battery. This one is your anonymous flame dash. You don't have to go anonymous. Just flag the flame dash is how much. It ever, it, anonymous is super cheap though. Like steel skin to your left click. And then Anonymous Arcane Surge at level 1. The usual combo you know, everyone runs pretty much. Pretty much using Flame Dash to cast Arcane Surge. Uh, Badger Brotherhood, these they go back down in price, which is nice. I think when everyone was playing Winter Orb, these Badger Brotherhoods will up, go, jump back up to like 7, 8 Exalts. I think now like 1.5. Yeah, 1.5. So it's definitely a good time to pick this up if you want to play it. And then it's what anointed with infuse just for another power charge. Because ideally you would have 11 power charge, frenzy charge, and brutal charges. That's if you get everything going, you would be at 11 max with this build. Um, we'll, do the, we'll do the chest piece. So replicas for all fur is a must also. So pretty much the void batteries, the badge, and the replica are a must if you're going to go with the Slayer version. If you're not, if you don't want to play with Replicals Feral Fur, you want to go with the uh, Witch version, which I'll talk about later. So Replicals Feral Fur is pretty much there because it pretty much converts all your um pow whatever your the um you gain maximum number of frenzy charge and endurance charges when you go into casually. That's why you see it flipping over here. So every time it goes to cat, it goes back up to ten. So pretty much because of the increase, um, less duration, we'll talk about later, you permanently have the 10 and 10 at all times. And it's the chest keys like the aspect of the cat, no man observe. You gotta make sure you have aspect of the cat somewhere. I'll talk about the best place to put it, which is gonna be the gloves. But also gives you onslaught, it gives you life. It's overall this is the best just because it gives you the um, frenzy endurance charges. Which the endurance charge because of the belt we switch over, um, we get brutal charges. So it's definitely really nice. So the chest piece, it's infused channeling support. Uh, like uh, a better version to get in 21, 23 is just price difference. Phantasmal Winter Orb is just for AOE. Divergent Power Charge on crit. Waken Control Destruction. GMP, if you can go Awaken, you, you definitely want to go Awaken for a lot more damage. It's just a 30 Exalt gem. And a Divergent, uh, divergent Hypothermia. Almost level 20s, finally. Uh, pretty much, the the belt will go in here, actually, next. This is what changes our Brutal Charge into Endurance Charge. Because if I take this off, we have Endurance Charges now instead. Which is more like... Okay, there it goes. So this one's what gave you like more like fizz damage mitigation, so you would actually get more defense layer. So if you're doing like bad like um, you'd be a 54 fizz mitigation. 
If you run the belt instead, okay, it was two, one. Bench will switch. Two, one, bye. Okay, there you go. You have 19 fizz. So if you're, you can definitely could play Headhunter. It's just if you play Headhunter, you don't have real charge, but you have the endurance charge. So you would get more fizz mitigation and you get a lot easier way to fix your resistance. Because if you take this off and it flips back, your resistance, 137, 127. Like it makes your resistance fixing so easy because each of these I think give you like three resistance or so. Because you're at one, so like 30, I think it's like three res it per. Four. No. It gives you more like 30, like something. It gives you a lot. So you get like 40. Yeah, so you get, I think it's four per if I'm correct. Which would make more sense, but it's a lot. So definitely, like, if you have, like, Headhunter will make your resistance a lot easier to fix. So Headhunter is a quality overall. It is, like, Headhunter is good for mapping. Um, Aaron's Anguish is good for bossing, is a way to put it. Because Brutal Charges, what they do is they give you um, triple damage. So you get a lot of triple damage when you have 10 of them up. And then pretty much, like, the annoyment you want to get on this is Chance to Avoid Stun... Um, the chance to avoid elemental immunities if you have elusive, which we always do because of our boots. So this is what gives you a hundred percent chance. Is if you would need to get the um, because you get so it's 25, 25 is 50, 70, and the last 30 is on the small cluster jewel, which we'll go over later. Like this is just this is the Maven uh, belt drop too. But like you want to get this, get resistance on it, give you a lot of fire res, gives you nice life. So overall, the belt's really nice quality. Uh, these boots are sort of what goes with the whole um, avoid elements way of elusive. These boots do give us elusive. I did craft these off stream. It cost me about 25 exalts to craft them, which I figured. But they do sell for more and it's better to craft it yourself using Elshar's uh, guide, which I'll link. I can also link in the description below. But pretty much these are nice because they're um, elevated tailwind, elevated onslaught, um, elusive on crit. It got, I got luck, real lucky and I got a T2 life on it. So that's why I crafted the prefix. If I didn't get that T2 life, I would have easily slammed this to get the uh, movement speed on it. To get the, uh, what you want to call it? Like the same thing like this, but the Aisling version. So you get 30% movement speed with like 10% increased movement speed on top of that, which would be the best way to go. I just don't have the four exalts right now to remove that craft, go try to gamble it. But that'd be like the like the future upgrade to this. But overall, if you didn't have like the life on there, you would easily slam, hopefully get the movement speed and then craft the life itself, like 70 life. So like both ways work. It's just these are nice because it's a lot of onslaught, a lot of tailwind. I got stuck with this the horrible suffix of chance to avoid bleeding poison, so I got a real bad suffix to this. But overall, the boots do work really well. Before I was using these boots, I was using a replica Inyas. I didn't really like these that much though. Your movement speed sucks, but these do work very well overall, just because they do give you a little bit of movement speed. They give you life regen they give you damage per power charge life about 10 intelligence i think the five percent comes out to be so overall the boots are good as a very cheap one a cheap way to go i think this cheapest version you get for is five chaos these i just went for because these were a um they were a higher life roll so that's why they're worth more apparently but it's still not good and then in the boots, it's pretty much the usual. Zealotry, Enlighten, Herald of Ice, Hatred, 21s. This one, 21, 23 if you can afford it. Level 4, Enlighten is required. If you, especially because I have no man already, so you do have to do the level 4. Uh, this is pretty much where my aspect of the cat came from. So on these gloves, you're pretty much only looking for life. 
and you want to get the hybrid cold res with increased damage um increased damage with hits against chilled enemies together because they're the same mod as a suffix so it's a really nice thing and you want to you can buy these real easy i think i got this for like 20 chaos on the trade site all you're really doing is searching for is like the cold um increased damage with hits against chill enemies so all that comes with the cold and it's two open suffixes and then just do the aspect of the cat uh b street craft on it and then after that you just get your um avoid elements that's the easy way you do in this one and get a good life roll on it t1 or two if you can and that's pretty much all things you're looking for on the gloves they're pretty much there just for your aspect of the cat and aspect of the cat and um on the gloves it's pretty much your divergent frost bomb linked with arcanus brand and cypress mark just because you lay your Arcanus brand on out, it'll attach to the enemy and it'll trigger your Frost Bomb and your Sniper's Mark. I believe, if I'm correct on that. So I've never seen this one go off, actually. I've seen more of this one. I think there's a certain order I put them in. I can check that if this real fast. But I'll make sure in the POB is the correct order. I'll check after this, yeah. But in the POB is the correct order, but it might be a certain order. That's a can't number on top of my head. It's been a while. And then also this makes sure you have less less duration equipped by itself just because it's only there just to make uh, your cat stealth uh, faster because without it on you end up actually losing your charges for a couple seconds. If you have this on there it makes sure you never lose your 10-10 um, your charge at all times. Uh, the rings so both my rings not don't so the max plus one power charge is like a more of it is this super end game expensive version eventually i want to get two of them i only could afford one at the time but pretty much before i was using that i was using two rings this is my second one i just ripped the when i was trying to get a open suffix on it uh pretty much all i was trying to do is look for is super high chaos res and life that was it and then I had it, when I was trying to fix my resistance problem, I had a another suffix on both of them. That's why I was using both of these at the time. Like these are both the same rings, pretty much. I think both of them had 30 chaos res on there. This one did also. I just need an open suffix slot so I can craft a high resistance on it. So my resistance was trash with the spill. And then this one got lucky, and I saved this one. This was the first one I did, and it actually ripped off the uh, chaos res. So I ripped this whole ring completely. So that's pretty much just helped push my chaos res up because you i was trying to get like very high like over 75 percent chaos res with this build it just hasn't happened yet the power charge ring what i did with this one is i used essence of horror on it to get the uh four to seven added uh cold damage per frenzy charge and i do always have 10 charges so it's more damage i just kept slamming it over and over until i got like either life or chaos res i got real lucky on this one i got cold and lightning resistance with life so i just kept it and i just crafted whatever i needed so i just needed chaos resistance and lightning so i just crafted chaos and lightning and that fixed my problems when i put the resistant modifier on it so that's it for that yeah and then another thing too with this build is dex intelligence is going to be hurting a lot that's where my biggest problems came from so if that's why the this piece right here in the chest just put on there whatever you need. If you need dex or intelligence, you can use the um, the enchantment for the body for one of those. I just didn't need either one, so that's why I have life on it. And then you also do want attribute modifier on the Badger Brotherhood. What is necklace you want? Like this one will be resistance also. I just eventually going to upgrade this ring. That's why I didn't put it in resistance on there yet. Uh, as the essence, I mean. And then flask is your bubbling, the div um, divine of staunching, your enduring of warding. Enduring is very helpful to build. Uh, your dying sun with a twenty five percent increase AOE, bottle faith, and then this, any type of quicksilver flask. Pretty much, I was playing like this earlier with these flasks out the quicksilver flask, and it absolutely sucked moving around. I felt so slow, so that's why I took this one off. And put a quick start flask on just because like you need the life flask you need the enduring flask i do like the dying sun dying sun just helps you gives you the extra um what you want to call it the extra 
to hit 25 AoE. I think you start at 24 without the sun or 23. Bottle of Faith is just nice to have more off. If you don't have Bottle of Faith, you can definitely just switch to this setup like this. Because this will just give you a lot more Chaos Res, Lee. So overall, this will be really nice. I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna get this on here somehow. That's it with that. So, skill tree. Uh, loving up this build. Love up any way you want until you get. You can put like the winter orb if you want. Or you can just hollow palm all the way up to level 80 like I did. Either way, it works. But pretty much, you're going Slayer just for massive form. Just because it gives your uh, maximum endurance charges equals to your frenzy charges. So your power charges equal um, maximum power equals maximum frenzy, which equals maximum endurance, which endurance gets transferred into brutal charges. Yeah. So that's pretty much why you run all that kind of crazy stuff. And then pretty much it's just like, you know, more damage, uh, kill enemies 20% low life when you hit by your skill. This is actually really cool. You pretty much have a permanent calling strike on your skill. I didn't see that, I didn't realize how good this was until I was doing my Cyrus earlier. Because this actually triggered on Cyrus and it's absolutely wiped him at 20%. Which is actually really cool. And then Brutal for Leech. So it's pretty uh, interesting skill tree. You're pretty much just shooting this way, only grabbing the movement life, life. If you can get this, you can. Uh, fluid motion, you definitely do need this. Tr get a 24 is super cheap. If you can afford crafted blood here, you can always go crafted blood on the fluid motion to make it easier later. Otherwise, you do it somewhere. This is just the best slot overall because it converts all of the p these nodes into decks. And it's a lot of decks area in here. Shoot up this way for the life. If you can afford natural, you can get natural here. This gives you a lot of AoE and skill factoration. So this is a really good spot for it. Uh, Glorious Vanity with Exquabal, whatever you call this thing. You pretty much want to keep rolling it. Because eventually you're going to take Divine Flesh if I can ever get my Chaos Res better. It's at 43 now but I want to get it. I want to get more Chaos Res before I take this. It's just there so I can take it when I need to. And then pretty much you want to keep rolling until you get... Um, Relevating Frost just for your cold uh, leech's life. Either you can look at you can get it here, here, or here. These are the three spots to get it. This one took me 50 divine orbs around give or take to at least get it to show up in one of those three spots once. And I got lucky that I also got like mana regen's not bad. Yes, mana not needed. Tax not needed, no need. But I also got like lightning resistance helped a lot because lightning's my lowest. I got a 22% spell damage increase. So it's overall it's pretty good. I think, yeah. I mean, but the other stuff too, you just don't really care too much about. It's more just get, where can you get this? Because without this, you lose, you don't have your leech. And there's also a lot of damage on here. Intelligent knows important to take. Uh, the... Reduced cost of skills is really helpful with life. So the cluster jewels, the large ones, are exact mirrors of each other. These are super expensive, I'm not gonna lie. You're looking in between about 19 to 25 exalts for these, to give you kind of a heads up. But pretty much you're looking for blanket snow, prismatic heart, and rice bread destruction. And pretty much it's because it gives you um, resistance, damage, uh, penetration, and then um, AOE, and elemental damage. And then attached to them, you want two Vasting Powers and Magnifiers. So you have two of them right here. You only need two of them because two of them will give you your 50% um, cap. Uh, that. So increase the effect, AOE effect per power charge, maximum 50. Two of them alone will give you your 50% cap real quick. And then... This is where the um, elegant form came from for the extra 30%. This is why we have 100% from is here. Oh, hold on. Right there. So you don't really need to take this small cluster jewel until you actually switch to elusive boots. If you don't have elusive boots, you actually can skip this one point for now, which is what I did until I switched to the, until I uh, crafted the boots. And then you also want to make sure somewhere 
this is how I fix my attribute problem. Is my large this large cluster has plus three attributes, so I get plus five between from these two. And my other one gets plus two on each. So I have six here and I have four on top, so I get plus ten all attributes. Just from the two large cluster jewels. And like on the mediums, if you can, try to go for chaos res resistance first. And then after chaos res, try to get like any resistance you need attributes, whatever you need to fix anything, that's what you want to focus on next. Chaos Res is probably the best overall to get. It just depends if you can actually find them on the market at a good price. We'll do those small drills glass. And then shoot up, you know, like life, damage. I just picked this up now. It's a huge damage boost. Watcher's Eye. Um, this one's just a double penetration one. With Chris Strike's pen um, for Zealotry. And then damage pen, cold res with hatred. It costs me about 45 exalts, so about between 45 to 60. If you can afford this, sure. If you can't, just look for at least one of those modifiers. It'll be a lot cheaper than trying to get both of them. So if you try to at least find one of them, let's see if you just do the cold one or the hatred, 1x. If you just do the zealotry one, you know, 20, 30 chaos. So it's definitely, if you want to go to a super cheap watch, watcher's eye, just go for one mod. Because like two of them, because a little bit less now than what it was, but it's still up there in price. It might have been like 38 or so, I don't remember. They're expensive though. You know, like anything that says plus one power charge, you take them. Reduced mana reserve, definitely you have to get this one. Chaos res life, you can definitely take all the points if you want. The other cluster drill I was talking about, this is the plus two. And this one, you can definitely can change it. This one, you're actually taking, um, so you don't need the other two anymore. A blast freeze and cold conduction. So like the whole, like the shock chill uh, switcheroo. And then freezes you, um, inflict spread. So you it keep freezing other enemies, so it's really nice. And the other one is evil eye and master fear. So enemies you curse are um, unearthed, so they take more damage. And enemies you curse take more damage also. And non-curse enemies you inflict, non-curse auras are blinded. Um, bum, bum, bum. And this way, you know, your normal power charge, minimum stuff, life, more intelligence. You do need all the intelligence you can get. Mana, power charge again. And jewel slot. So between all these jewel slots, the three of them, you do want to get corrupted, corrupted blood somewhere if you don't have it any on the um, anywhere else. And then all I looked for on all these is all resistance, life, and then anything I can get on there for more like damage. Like this one, I just went all resistance, life. I got I lucky and I placed found projectile damage one, so I bought this with corrupted blood. On all of these ones, they are pretty much life resistance and any type of global crit modify, um, global crit on it. This one I got lucky and I found for 10x, I believe, for life all res, global crit strike multiplier with cold and overall. So those are actually really good. This one is just a life resistance, uh, global crit with cold. And this one's just a global crit multiplier with dual wielding. Because you can do a critical strike multiplier with dual wielding, cold, elemental, by itself. All of them work. Like this one's, um, this is intelligence and light and resistance. Chaos and cold. Just chaos by itself. So pretty much you want to make sure that you hit 245 intelligence. And I think 155 dex is what you need when you start going into the, um, cause sniper's mark. I think 155 is the max number. I could be wrong on it, but I think that's what you want to look at. The 245 you have to get though, because of your void batteries require 245. So that's why I was able to drop this. That's why I picked up the 10, um, intelligence here through the large clusters. I just kept going grabbing on the medium clusters. I got another, close you. Got another 10 from here, so that's why I was able to get fix all my intelligence. It was a pain in the ass to do. 
then that's everything. Uh, Bandits kill all. Pathions, uh, I'd even do them to be, be honest. Like, if I got buns there. Shit, I always forget buns. Oh, why? I just guessed one. I took, like, this one for more some evasion, which doesn't do anything for this build. You probably would end up actually taking maybe some, like, this one, maybe? I don't know. And then, like, it doesn't matter. I don't know which one you take. You just grab whatever you want to grab. But let's get the next showcase done. I've been talking a lot. This is a tier 15 canyon. So I can show you the speed a bit real fast. Because I'm not sure if I'm going to keep playing this one or if we're going to try uh, Fast as Fuck's version, which is the Witch version out. So the Witch version is a whole lot cheaper. There you go. Now we're going now. That's why I put the um, the flask in, because it feels so much smoother with the speed from it. But it's pretty much overall just, you know, build up your winter orb, get to, and it's just like a, playing a uh, Blade Vortex build. Cast it a couple times here and there. I have 10, let's get 10 power charges because my ring. You would normally probably have had 9 without the, two, without the uh, power charge rings. You have to be very careful with this build because this build is super squishy. You will die to anything in one hit without a question. That was it. Boo. My spirit is spent. But it's pretty fun overall though. You just run around circles, watch everything die. Ultimatums are not pleasant though with this build. Let me give you a heads up. You do get one shot by ultimatum so much. And I don't know what happened to my map, but it really got really screwed up apparently. Spin the boss real fast. We can Oh yeah, so the reason I don't use um Vortex is because your health goes down so fast with it on. But it does kill very quickly. And you have a huge ass AoE. I'll show the ultimate if I can find where the hell it was. There it was. I mean, I've cleared ultimatums before with this build. I have never done Travel Master yet. But it's something you need to be very careful about. And just keep it in your flasks. I prefer not to use this in here because this has killed me every time I use it. Meatballs will kill you. The, um, the, the lightning, um, uh, Guy who walks around, whatever it is, when he dies, I don't know what the effect is, but that will kill you. But yeah, it's pretty much just cast it whenever it gets low, like around like five seconds or so. Build it up and go. And you want to use your um, that's where the mana flash comes in place, so you can actually keep charging it. Otherwise, it stops like at three seconds. Lightning is also probably not a good one to take with this build. But yeah, if you want, um, I would definitely recommend, probably recommend the witch one over this. Damn. The witch one is a whole lot cheaper to play. Because you don't have to, you don't need the chest piece, you don't need... The helmets to be the same, I think weapons are the same, the badge... A lot of the gems are the same. Like belt, you definitely don't even use this belt on that build, so you definitely can, it's a lot cheaper. This is a four, like a four or five exalt belt with the enchant. You don't need to run the um, what is it, like the fluid motions, all that kind of stuff. So it definitely gets cheap overall. You're gonna save a lot of money. It's just more of the you want to try something different. I think that's it for this build, though. Okay. So yeah, that's a quick map showcase. I'm gonna cut it here because this is gonna be a long video. I just realized with already being 35 minutes now. Plus, I guess I had to add a six-minute Cyrus fight and the however long the delve took. So it'll be like a 45, 50-minute 
video, which is going to suck. But I'll see if I can cut anything out to speed up a little bit. So, to the last to go over in this video, it's because we haven't really made a video in a while. Oh, there's been a two-part video. But I think over everything. Uh, if anybody has any questions, put them in the comments below. Um, hit subscribe button if you want to see any more. If you don't like the if you don't like the video, let me know any changes you want me to make. And we'll see where we go next. I want to pie farm currency. I need 150. I need more money probably to fix this build, or we might sell parts of it off and play the other version, the which one everyone's doing this league, just for the more curses, more defensive layer it has. But we'll see from there where we're gonna go. So thank you for coming out today, and I'll see you on the next video. Okay, let's try this boss. Uh, Lich 222. Second time ever doing Lich, I think. Well, this will be the last league. With the Tox Brand. I know this is the, the third stage is one I always had the most problems with. Because we're not Chaos Max Res yet. If I still had my other ring, I, we would be, I think. Phase one's already done. This is the add phase. It's definitely not the best character for this either. We gotta make sure we have flask ready for enrage. Phase two is not a problem. And I see that we're almost dying on in phase two. Use one set of flasks right now. Oh shit. He should be in rage any second. Are you not in rage yet? Let's go. You have no life. Okay, there we go. One, two, three. Flash, 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 flash. Dead. Easy. Counter's done. Oh, Ruby. Who knows? So that's the Del boss. Be interesting to see.
I was never do my uh, flask. Oh shit. I forgot to do my enduring flask. Yeah. Oops. Oh, of course we die. Oh shit, forgot that time. This one will be interesting to see. Okay, I didn't know he actually can turn around there. I thought he only does straight. He turns around after. Zero idea where he went. I can't do this just yet. My spirit is spent. Biggest problem with this build, defense layer does not exist. I gotta check that flask though. I'm pretty sure it's a curse um curse of me and flask. Just more just the survivability part. Oh. Because he died. <laughs> 